Today I'm going to show you how to pair your Sony P1VT remote to record video with your Sony FX3, FX30, A7 IV and your A7C. And stay tuned until the end of this video where I will be showing you a troubleshooting trick if you still have trouble paying your remote after following the main steps. Before you return your remote, think it is not working? Just know that the little manual included with your remote tells you to turn Bluetooth remote control on on step two. However, sometimes that doesn't really work. And my suggestion is to try pairing your remote first, as explained on steps three, four, and five. Then after pairing your remote, try step two and turn Bluetooth remote control on. Clear as mine? So let's start with step one to show you what I mean. I'm gonna start with the A7C, so feel free to skip to your preferred camera using the time codes in the description below. Okay, so on the A7C, you wanna go to the network one settings, then you scroll down and then we switch to the second screen and notice that Bluetooth remote control is off. So we're gonna turn that on later. So now we need to go to Bluetooth settings and in here we need to go to Bluetooth function, turn this on and now we need to pair our device. So I'm gonna click on that and now I'm gonna press and hold my shutter button and the plus button for seven seconds. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on the OK button and it's pairing, now it's paired, click OK. And now I can even see the MAC address of this device if I wanted to, going back, going back, and then I'm gonna turn this setting, Bluetooth remote control, on. And now if I press the shutter button, I can start recording and if I press it back, I can stop my recording. And to pair the A74, you want to go all the way down to network and then we want to go down to Bluetooth. And now we are going to turn Bluetooth function on. So we switch that on. Then we are going down to pairing. And now I'm going to hold the shutter button and the plus button at the same time for seven seconds. And now I can just click OK to pair the device. And it's paired. I click OK again. And now this is very important. We want to turn Bluetooth remote control on. So I'm going to turn that on and it's going to ask me if I want to use my paired device. I'm going to say yes, click OK. And now I can go back to my camera and I can press the shutter button here and I can start recording video. And I'm going to stop. That's it. And to pair your remote with the FX3 or the FX30, you want to go down to the network menu and then we want to go to Bluetooth and we want to turn Bluetooth function on. I'm going to go and click on on. And now we want to pair our remote. So we go to Bluetooth, pairing, and now we can press and hold the shutter button and the plus button for seven seconds. There we go. So we can say okay to that prompt. And now we have connected our RMT P1BT. Click okay. And now we are going to go back to transfer remote and select Bluetooth remote control and we are going to turn it on. It's going to ask us if we want to pair our P1BT and we are going to say 
use pair device. Click OK. And now we are ready to shoot. Now I'm going to go to my camera and I'm going to show you how when I press the shutter button, I can start recording. I'm going to press it again to stop. And you're all set. As you start to shoot the A7C, you want to go to Network 2, go to Bluetooth Remote Control, turn that off, and then go back to Bluetooth Settings and Bluetooth Function, turn that off, go back, and then go back and follow the steps to pair your A7C again. If you're having trouble connecting your A7 IV, what you gotta do is you need to go down to the network settings and then go down to Bluetooth and in here you wanna go to manage pair device and this is your remote. So what you wanna do is click on it and delete it. It's gonna ask you if you wanna delete it, you say okay, okay, and it's deleted. So now all you gotta do is go back and follow the steps for pairing your P1BT remote. And to troubleshoot the FX3 or the FX30, you wanna go down all the way to network and then we go down to Bluetooth. And here in this menu, we go down to manage per device and we go in there and we select our remote here to delete it so go up delete and ask you if you want to delete it you say okay delete it so now you can go ahead and repair your remote like we did in this video previously that's it your remote should now be paired and you should be able to use it to start recording video just remember to set your camera to movie mode Thanks for watching and see you next time.